My name is Samson Kasumba and this is the focal point. Now, if you have been to Makere in the recent past, when President Jerome Seveni is here, before he speaks, he tells a story of somebody who he, he says, picked from the village and made him the vice chancellor. Now that is a professor of architecture, Professor Nawangwe is the vice chancellor here. He's been here two years and he's now on the focal point. Professor, it's a pleasure having you on the focal point. Thank you. Well, you are two years into the running of, of uh, Mackay University and uh, we now know that Mackay is not very easy to run. After two years, what are your discoveries? During the last two years I've been here, I found that there is so much potential, there is so much energy, and my job has been trying to direct that energy into the right direction and trying to remove the negative energy which seems to have taken over. But now the positive energy is taking over. Okay. Does that suggest that uh, the squabbles and uh, tag pooling here and there? is now a matter of history or in spite of those you still want the positive energy to take the day makerere is a, a complex organization but since it is also an organization of people who are intellectuals then the most important thing is to make everybody behave intellectually and then it becomes easy to manage can one say that when managing intellectuals who are trained to question because i mean in education you're trained to think critically you're trained to question is it more difficult managing those sorts of individuals and two still in the same direction is it harder to manage Makere than you thought now that you are in the running i think what is important is to make everybody pull in the same direction okay once you make everybody understand that we are here for a mission okay. and our mission is to help our communities get out of poverty that's the most important mission if once everybody understands that they need to make a contribution and that you are trying to facilitate them to get that they make that contribution the majority of the people tend to understand immediately so I can say, at the moment, the majority of the people want to make a contribution to the development of their communities, to the development of their country. And that makes it easy to run the university because you are dealing with people who understand why they are here. Have you found out that it was, it is a lot more complicated than you actually thought when you sit in the chair of vice chancellor? The challenges have been more than I thought, okay. I would admit. But that has also been good for me, because then it makes me to think in different ways how to manage. The important thing is that uh, once you create a dialogue and uh, tell the people what you think should be the direction, and they buy into that direction, then it becomes easy. But definitely the challenges have been more than I could have imagined. Okay. Um, you, you said that once you get everybody to understand uh, that may not necessarily be practical because there are two theories try to get everybody to understand which will take you a lot of time or try to get the critical mass to understand then they pull the rest which one from your experience is more workable i think the critical mass is more workable okay. you can never succeed in making everybody think that you are your direction is the right direction okay. There will always be people who think otherwise. Even those who may not think otherwise, but by nature, like to have some controversy. Okay. Yes. So what is important is to have the majority of the people understanding and buying into your ideology. You mean the majority that matter? The, the influential leaders? Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Now, Makera has been known for the wrong reasons. At least we in the media, every time we come to Makere, we come to cover strikes. Uh, if those strikes are not for non-teaching staff, they are for teaching staff or the students, or one group strikes always after another. Um, how have you dealt with that? So that, um, in a sense, the university now, I think known recently to be fifth on the African continent is known for the right reasons. 
Yes, Makere has been known for a long time for the wrong reasons. And uh, it is understandable. Makere is a big brand name. Okay. It is an international name. Anything happens here is of interest to very many people. And very many people would want to say something about what has happened. And that, of course, always makes news. So we are in a kind of a tricky situation. We are a big brand name. And if we want to get, keep out of the bad news, then we must do the right things. And that is not always easy. Yes, we have had problems of strikes. And the, the strikes have been over things that really do, do not build the country. They don't build the, the university. Strikes over, uh, a fee, over salaries. When actually government has been increasing salaries, uh, strikes over uh, some very petty things, like uh, we don't like a certain clause in the human source money. But you are intellectuals. Why don't you discuss about it? Why don't you convince the council that uh, the decision to include this clause is against the law, it is against human rights? Why must you coerce through a strike. Why don't you use your brains? Because you are the top brains. Yeah? You should be able to convince. And this is what I'm trying to, to tell people. Let's use your brains instead of using, you know, um, uh, co coercive methods. The same thing with the students. I tell them, you are the top brains of this continent. Surely, how can you assume that you are going to resolve every problem by rioting? Uh, you are future leaders. Are you going to lead the country through riots? Or you are going to exercise your brains? And so, uh, building their thinking capacity, their debating capacity, I think ha has been very crucial. And I think that the students now appreciate that that's the right way to go. And they are coming up with a lot of innovations to rebrand the university, even without my intervention. Remember, you are the best brains on this continent. <laughs> You are students of the great Makerere. Yes. Let nobody hear you saying things like that. Yes. Yeah. Respect yourselves. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm going to, 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 to engage the president and the speaker and the minister all the whole of today to make sure that you have your money. Okay? Yes. Uh, it wouldn't give you a good picture if you begin marching. In they will say, again, Makerere, the hooliganism is back. Yes. Yeah? You see, people are now respecting you. Keep that respect. We have been spending time on other things. A university, by description, should be a place of creation of knowledge. That's the primary thing. If you are not creating knowledge, you are not a university. You can just be a glorified secondary school or something. So, Makere University has the highest quality academic staff on this continent. So one would expect that they are busy creating knowledge, trying to solve the problems of the continent, trying to get our continent out of poverty and out of marginalization. That should be the important thing. A lot of people have been doing that, but the problem is that there has been a big group who have been sort of pulling everybody in the wrong direction making them waste their time through you know, uh, these strikes, you see. Any day of a strike at Mackay University is very costly to this country. Obviously. Because you are saying all these more, almost 1,000 brains, PhD holders, instead of doing research and addressing issues that affect our development, they are just seated there doing nothing. So. That's why I say these brains, if they are just there doing nothing, it is very costly for the country. Every strike pulls our country backward by several years. Okay. And I want to believe that very many people now understand that. One would imagine that when students come to Makerere, during their orientation week, are the ideas as good as what you're suggesting should be part of the enrollment process so that they understand that unlike elsewhere, I wouldn't want to be seen to patronize, in an intellectual society like Makere, if you have a problem, 
you take it to a classroom or you write a paper and then somebody responds if that is not enough you come to the main hall and you debate over it uh, students professors and everybody and you find a solution why is that not the case and students in a big academic institution like this one believe in plucking leaves we're talking climate change getting on the streets and throwing stones methods for conflict resolution that should be used outside the university have crept into the university how can that be the case well uh, i think there are historical circumstances okay. that uh, caused this of course you know we went through several civil wars okay. and the uh, many children were born in the in the wars many children were on the streets without parents so parenting became a problem and for me, I believe this is part of the problem. Okay. That even in the schools, uh, discipline eventually broke down. So we get our students from the schools. Okay. And if discipline already broke down at home and then in the schools, we do not expect a different person when they come to Makere okay. University. So there are th values that were there in society before that spate of civil wars that had sort of deteriorated. That has been somehow addressed over the years. Okay. And uh, I think the situation may be changing now. Okay. Uh, but you are right. Uh, we do not have uh, programs that uh, develop these students at, uh, at secondary school or even when they come here. The orientation doesn't include on things like how should you behave. When but you lecture peace and conflict studies here. Yeah. Um, do you think that your administration would ask more of the lecturers in that area to deal with these situations? Well, we, <laughs> we lecture peace and the conflict resolution, but I think we have been focusing on the big picture, okay. peace between the countries, yes. <laughs> and maybe uh, on things like civil wars, how do we avoid them or how do we manage the situation when we have not been looking at the situation at the micro level okay. at the universal level but now increasingly everybody is actually asking how come we, we don't have conflict resolution mechanism when we have a whole unit yeah and i think they are now trying to address that professor banabas nawangwe is the vice chancellor of a university that is taking a new direction driven by research and putting behind strikes before you go on strike that this show has taken too long i'm saying goodbye and good night